Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on register transfer language and register transfer in computer organization. So before going to the register transfer language, first we can discuss about the registers. So registers are temporary storage devices because so registers are used for storing the information temporarily. So an operation can be performed on the information stored in the registers. So whatever the information that is stored in the registers on that information we can perform certain operations. Next micro operation so a micro operation is an elementary operation that can be performed on the information stored in the register okay whatever the information stored in the register on that information we can perform the operation that operation is called as an micro operation. Next, an internal organization of a computer is best specified by specifying the three points. So, the internal hardware organization is best when it satisfies the following three conditions. First one is a set of registers and its functions. So how many number of registers are there and what are the functions of each and every register. Second point, a micro operation that can be performed on the information stored in the registers. So okay, whatever the information stored in the registers on that information we can perform the certain operation. Third point, a control that initiates the micro, uh, initiates the sequence of micro operations. So here, a control unit is there. A control unit can monitor the sequence of execution of micro operations. So by using these three points, we can say that a hardware organization of a digital computer is best. Okay, next we go for register transfer language. So register transfer language is nothing but a symbolic notation that describes the micro operation transfers among the registers. Suppose there are two registers are there so on that uh, on the two registers we can perform some micro operation on the information stored in the registers okay so that transfer of information between the registers that can be represented by using a symbolic notation that symbolic notation is called as register transfer language. So simply we can say that a symbolic notation that is used for transfer of information among the registers during the micro operation. Okay. During the micro operation, certain data transfer can be done between the registers. So that can be represented in symbolic form. So that is called as register transfer language. So here there are three terms are there. First one is register transfer. Second one is language. Third one is programming language. So what is the term register transfer? Register transfer is nothing but availability of the hardware logic circuits to perform the micro operation 
micro operation that is stored information stored on the registers okay availability of hardware logic circuits that performs a micro operation and uh, transfer the result of the operation to the same or another register here register transfer is nothing but so here we have to perform the micro operation on the available hardware logic circuits after completing the micro operation whatever the result we are getting that result is stored in the same register or another register so that is nothing but register transfer second one is language so here the language is borrowed from programmer third one is programming language a programming language is a procedure for write procedure for writing symbols to specify a given computational process okay to specify a to specify a given computation what are the symbols we have to use that symbols can be written in a procedure that procedure is called as procedure language okay a language that defines some symbols to perform a particular process so this is nothing but register transfer language next we go for register transfer so here the registers are denoted by capital letters so it indicates the function of the registers suppose generally registers are denoted by the rectangular box suppose so here this rectangular box is used to represent the register under the rectangular box we can write the name of the register in capital letter so it indicates the function of the register next the individual bits of the register can be represented by so in this format so it is a 8 bit register so here here the leftmost here we are starting the bits from the rightmost to leftmost here it is a 8 bit register so in the 8 bit registers the bits starting from 0 and ending with n minus 1 so here n value is equal to 8 starting with 0 and ending with 8 minus 1 that is 7 so these are the individual bits of a register we are always start from right side and move forward to left side next numbering of bits suppose we can take a 16 bit register that 16 bit registers can be represented as 0 to 15 0 to 15 here the register name is r2 r2 register so this can be represented in rectangular box next one suppose the individual bits of a register can be divided into two parts so this is a low this is a lower part and this is a higher part this is the lower part and this is higher part so lower part starting with 0 and ending with 7 higher part starting with 8 and ending with 15 so here the register name can be represented in capital 
letters that indicates the function of the register. Here the register is PC. PC can be written as capital letters. It indicates the function of the register. So this is a leftmost. So leftmost can be represented as PC of L. So starting with 0 and ending with 7. Next, higher, higher bits 8 to 15. So in this way, the bits of a register can be divided into two parts. This is the lower part and this is the upper part. So lower part starting with 0 and ending with 7. So PC of L. So higher part starting with 8 and ending with 15. So then it can be represented as PC of H. Okay. Next one. The basic symbols used for register transfer. So here symbol, description, example. First one is letters. So the letters are used for representing the or denoting the register. So description is denotes a register. Example is MAR R2. So memory address register R2. Next one is parenthesis. So this parenthesis can be used to denote the part of a register. So part of a register can be the register can be divided into two parts. So that is the lower part and higher part. So lower part is can be represented as R2 of L. So lower part is so PC of L. Higher part is PC of H. Okay. Next one, arrow mark. Arrow mark is used for denotes a transfer of information. So here R2 arrow mark R1 is nothing but the content of register R1 can be transferred to register R2. So here for that purpose we are using the arrow operator. Next one is comma operator. So comma operator is used to separate the micro operations. So it separates the two micro operations. So this is one micro operation and this is another micro operation. So these two micro operations are separated by the comma. Here the content of register R1 can be transferred to register R2. Here the content of register R2 can be transferred to register R1. Okay. And uh, so this is the diagram transfer from register R1 to register R2 when P is equal to 1. So here, so R1 register and R2 register. Now we want to transfer the N number of bits from R1 register to R2 register. So here this transfer can be done when the clock pulse is given, when the clock pulse is given. So after the clock pulse is given, here the control circuit produces a control signal. So by using the control signal P, we can load the N number of bits from register R1 to register R2 when the clock pulse is applied. Okay. So we can say that again, when the clock pulse is applied, the control unit produces a control signal P. Okay. So this control signal can load the N number of bits from register R1 to register R2. Okay. So here the transfer can be done when the clock pulse is applied from here the rising edge, here the clock pulse is applied. So here next clock pulse is applied. The difference between T and T plus 1 is 1 clock pulse. In that 1 clock pulse, the transfer of information from register R1 to register R2 can be done. So here R2 to R1 is nothing but 
R22 R1 is nothing but so the transfer of information from register R1 to register R2 by using the arrow operator the transfer of information from register R1 to register R2 okay next here P is a control function P is a control function or control signal so when the content of R1 is a transfer to R2 when the control function value is equal to 1 so if P equal to equal to 1 then the content of register R1 is a transfer to register R2 okay next one is here there are two micro operations are there these two micro operations are separated by comma here the content of r1 is transferred to r2 the content of r2 is transferred to r1 here these two micro operations can exchange their information with one register and another register so this can be done in a single clock pulse so these two micro operations can be done within a single clock pulse then these two micro operations are separated by comma so here p value is equal to is equal to 1 here the control function p equal to equal to 1 then the content of register r1 is transferred to register r2 so this is the description about the register transfer in register transfer language so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel so the bell of screen was out so thank you